everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video i am sharing three dollar tree farmhouse valentine diys and let's get started For this project, I am going to use two of these Dollar Tree signs. I got them for 50 cents each, I guess because some of the hearts were falling apart. Also, I am going to use some of these floral picks. These were new at Dollar Tree. Some floral foams, some thumbtacks, and some paint. First, I need to remove the hangers that are attached at the back to separate the signs. Then I will try to remove the glitter only on one of these signs. because I will put one at the bottom and these ones go one on each side and this one I will cut it and use it for the two ends right here. Now I will glue these signs together using some hot glue. Feel free to use some E6000. Then I will measure to see how much I need to cut for each end and then I measure that on the sign. Then I go ahead and try to cut it. I am going to go over the line a few times with this crafting knife. And carefully I'm gonna snap it one way and snap it back the other way. Then I trim any excess. Now to cover the red part, I am just gonna use some white paint and brush lightly over it. I didn't want to paint the whole thing because I really like how the edges look, also to match it with the other two parts. And once they are dry, I go ahead and glue them at each end. And to make sure everything is sticking together, I go ahead and add extra hot glue for extra security. Now it's time to make the metal end caps that go on each corner of the box. So I am using some of this recycled box that I had around the house. Feel free to use any cardboard you have around or any post board from the Dollar Tree. So I decided to make them one inch wide and about less than five inches tall. So I am going to measure these out on here, then cut them out. And once I have all four cut out, I am going to go ahead and fold each one in half the long way like you see me doing. 
and once that done I take them outside and spray paint them with this rustoleum metallic aluminum to give them that metallic look and once they are dry I use some gray and black paint and dry brush the edges to give them that age distressed look And the easiest way to paint these thumbtacks is to pin them on a piece of cardboard like this. Now I go ahead and paint them with some darker color. Now that everything is done and ready, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these end caps one on each corner of the planter box. Then I cut this part that is sticking out of the thumbtacks while they still on the cardboard. Then I go ahead use some hot glue and glue three on each side as you see me doing. Today's video is also a part of the Valentine DIYs challenge hosted by Heidi Sambal and a bunch of creative friends here on YouTube. I will link Heidi's channel and a playlist down in the description box below so make sure to check them all out for tons of DIY ideas for Valentine. And once that is complete, I go ahead and add some floral foams at the bottom. Then add any greenery or flowers that you prefer. I am adding these gorgeous flowers that I got from Dollar Tree recently. Dollar Tree actually have ton of beautiful varieties. I think this is the best time to get some for spring or summer. And here is the finished look. I absolutely love how it turned out. my channel welcome my name is Antoinette and this is my simple yet chic DIY and decor channel next project is really simple it's this love sign that I had from Dollar Tree a long time ago and I thought to just upgrade it a little bit so at first I remove this ribbon that is attached at the back and I sand it a little Then I go ahead and start tearing a few of the twine strands from the edges just to give it that unfinished look.
Then I go ahead and lightly brush some paint over the burlap just to give it a little dimension. Then I brush on the edges as well. And once everything is dry, I go ahead and sand the edges a little bit. Then I go ahead and assemble them. I play with it until I like how they look. Then I go ahead and glue them together like this. And here is how I end up liking it. Now I will glue some of these Jenga blocks that I got from Dollar Tree at the back right here to help it stand like this. I also decided to add some embellishment so I am using some of this burlap ribbon that I saved from the previous sign and make an easy bow I just cross the two ends like this then I take a piece of twine and I wrap it around then I tie a double knot and cut the excess out then I cut a tiny rose from this bundle that I got from Dollar Tree and glue it on the top of the bow Then I snip a few leaves from the same bundle and glue them in as well. I also went ahead and glue few more bows as well. And I think they came out so cute. I really love the new look of this sign. Absolutely beautiful. Next project, I will need one of the heart-shaped wreath from Dollar Tree, some of this burlap garland from Dollarama, few of these tiny roses, one heart ornament, some ribbon, and some paint. So for this project, I will only use these two rings and I am gonna go ahead and cut the smallest heart and save it for another project. Next step, I'm gonna fold the burlap in half the long way and I will hot glue the two sides together like you see me doing. And I will probably use about four yards of burlap. And once that done, I will go ahead and cut the wreath at the top to be able to thread it into the burlap. I decided to wrap some painter tape around the pointy ends here to make it easy to go through the burlap. And once that done, I go ahead and thread it through all the way to the end trying to twist the burlap while I go. And once I get to the other end, I make sure to fluff it nicely and play with it, try to make it even on both sides. And when I finish doing that, I go ahead and glue the two ends of the wreath back together where I cut it at the beginning. I 
I decided to use this lace ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and tie a simple bow then glue it right here. Now to secure the ornament, I add a dab of hot glue here to secure it well. Then I glue the ornament to the wreath and let it hang down. I also add few roses that I got from Dollar Tree to the top and some greenery as well. Then I go ahead and use a dabber brush and paint the heart with some black and gray paint to give it that metallic aged look. And that's it guys, I think this wreath turned out so cute, you have to let me know guys what do you think. I really love the farmhouse look of it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. It really helps my channel out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next one and until then, be well and have fun.